Welcome back, guys, to episode, I believe this is 66 of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Don't at me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, in last episode, we... I'm gonna be real with you. I don't really know what we did last episode. We kind of just got... We finished up the Aelita route. We discovered that John, his name is actually John, not Gene, is responsible for creating a dream machine, but, like, not sure why that matters. Him and that Sharabella girl, like, again, I don't think any of that information actually has any relevance. Um, we did, however, find out that Reserata wants the Black Shard for some reason, but it's not explained why either, so I don't fucking know. And then, if you're noticing a trend, we found out that Rune knew something about Sharabella, but, again, we don't know where that went, so, <laughs> But, here's the kicker. We did find out what happened to Deegan, and we did find out what happened to Deegan. So we did walk away with something from all of that, and that's what matters. If you're enjoying the playthrough though, please leave a comment, uh, like the video, subscribe, and help me get to 500. I'm thinking of if we can get to six, maybe 700, maybe 600 subscribers by the end of the year, so December 31st, I will play a Kaizo game. And I will cry, but I will play it. So, look forward to that if you want to see me, like, lose. Battles round? Alright. I'm glad you came. I need your help with something. I lost something and I need someone's help. Sure. Thank you. I think I lost my brain somewhere in the cafeteria. Damn. Hey, Risa, how about we investigate the cafeteria uh, using group talk? I bet if we able to, we'd be able to cover everything easily if we work together. Uh, he lost his brain in the cafeteria. I want to play around in the sun all day. That's my dream. Okay. Oh, it feels nice to be playing as Robin again. I miss playing as me. Please stop. Yeah, take that. Artillery. Oh, this is a moody trainer. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Didn't raise a special defense. Ah, my dream! Crushed by a rando! Who are you calling a rando? You won, so you deserve these phantom candies. What is a phantom candy? Candy that is made by the Puppet Master. It will level up your Pokemon a small amount. But why? Aren't we at the level cap right now? Well, look who it is! It's Maybelline! Who? Sorry, I meant Robin. Those two names sound the same to me. Anyway, I'm Group 1's advisor, so I got uh, I got shafted in this hellhole with you guys on while on break. You could buy something, but you could also not. This choice is yours. Uh... Okay. Mm -hmm. At least this song is good. That nerd said he lost something in the cafeteria, right? He wasn't a nerd, he was a boy. Okay. Wait, there's someone in the... There's something in the water down there. On it. I truly believe she did that just to jump in the water without getting in trouble. How was the dip? Okay, that was hella dumb. The water is way deeper than it, uh, it is when I'm alive. Saki, you've never not been alive. If only that were true, Amber. If only that were true. Did you find anything, though? Ye. This weird black box looking thing. Is this what this guy's... Is this this guy's brains? It was there for a reason, so let's just roll with it. Okay. Interesting. What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, Amber, what are you doing? The fountain. Yeah, we were investigating the fountain when we weren't sleeping. I just wanted to see if this place actually did have an underground passage after all. Underground secret? This is exactly where I'd build one. We know. It's cliche enough for it to actually be true. But alas, it doesn't exist in this world. Bummer. Well, that was a waste of time. Yeah, kind of was. 
there's no way this works, right? Can't hurt to try. Uh, it opened. It very clearly didn't open, Robin. Not shy. <laughs> no, maybe Robin's on to something. It opened. Huh? I get it too. Like, I don't think Robin was referring to the door being open. Like, maybe in realizing that this is a futile allowed Robin to open their third eye. So when that, that <laughs> oh my fucking god. So when that happened, they turned around and was like, it opened. What? Saki, I don't even know what the hell to say to that. I have transcended the bullshit. And... Uh, how about you keep it? Mysterious black box. You should take a couple of these too. Am I supposed to do something with the phantom candies? Like, or are they just experience? You do not meet the requirement for this room. Password. We don't have a password. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to uh, proceed without one. How the hell are we supposed to know this password or even learn it? What do you all wish? Gonna have to try. Lay it on us. The password is hidden where students are at their prime. That's all the information I can offer. Well, that's kind of vague. Yeah, we're in school, remember? He's probably talking about a classroom. That's where students mostly spend their time while in school. I'm inclined to agree. There's only one classroom that's available to us at the moment. Then we should head that way and see what we can find. All right. Battles round. The password is hidden in this classroom, apparently. So this has to mean, it has to mean battles round, right? Let's go back and give the guy the password then. Uh, hello, he said the password was hidden in here. This chalkboard isn't really hidden at all, is it? I guess not. What if it's one of those hidden in plain sight type of uh, dealies? Maybe the password is hidden within the words of battles round. What are you supposed to do with the letters then? Reading it backwards. I don't think those words say anything backwards. An anagram? Yeah, I think we got that already. But what is it? Maybe the drawings on the board are supposed to help us. It doesn't mean we're just supposed to battle. Maybe the letters are jumbled or something. Saki, once you said something amazing. That's right. If something was off about this, it's an anagram. Batter's round must spell something. Some uh, must spell something else. Here we have the phrase battles round written on the chalkboard. I think we all agree that this could probably be reorganized to say a couple of things. But just by looking at it, isn't it, it, it isn't, isn't it obvious? By taking our situation and the info we know up to this point, there can only be one logical conclusion. Battles round is supposed to be ants troubled. What? Ants troubled. Ants troubled, I see. Are you serious? Yes, we're all stuck in the school. We're kind of small, you know? N we got no power, no way, no uh, no say, no nothing. We just gotta go through this school for no reason. That makes us kind of like ants, right? And we are, and aren't we all feeling kind of trouble? She does have a point, but that feels more like she's forcing the conclusions that might not be there. Risa, please. Well, that's clearly not the right fucking answer. Let's just move on, okay? Well, a common word that I can see popping up would be labor. And this is an academy, so it would have to involve the people who attend here. I can see that too. It wouldn't match up with the drawings as well. It does look like a pokeball. It also looks like a battle and uh, a ball and chain. See, you have the ball there, and then that long sticking out is the chain. Then it slinks around and crapples your leg. Oh my. What? Perhaps better wording could be used. What? Nice. <laughs> hmm. Uh, ants troubled. <laughs> ants troubled. You want to know something funny? When the puppet master told me about battles round, I thought the same thing. What? But it makes sense though. I was there thinking I'm in the school, forced to be under a under an underappreciated bouncer, and for what? We have no power, no say, no nothing. We just have to listen to the puppet master for no reason. I guess that would make us ants, yes? That troubles me. I have to say, Amber, the logic is sound. I'm gonna jump. I swear to Arceus, I'm gonna jump. But no, unfortunately, that's not the password. So try again. Damn. <laughs> I was gonna say, what? 
I love growing brains. Does that have something to do with the black box? It does nothing. I bet it fucking does. Uh, there's nothing to discuss here. Hmm. It would logically be in here, right? Uh, so it's the same exact conversation. Okay. It's not ants trouble. Labor. I think, I think I was, one of the words was hinted to me. It's labor or something. Huh. Oh, it's student labor. Okay, that makes sense. That's correct. Student labor was the correct phrase. Good luck. Huh. Man, I can't wait to show you guys what's in here. What's down here. My gym, of course. That's where a lot of my streams take place. Because my gym puzzle is streamed to, uh, to the public and all, yeah. Weird gimmick, but also cute. Rest in pieces to all the people who have camera anxiety. Okay, we're all about there. Just wait. What? Th this isn't my gym. It's better. It better not be. There's students packed in these containers. Oh my god, they're just staring at me. Saki, what the hell is all this? Why is there a student lay a factory in a place of, uh, in place of your gym? Why are you asking me? I don't know why this is here. It doesn't matter. Why this, uh, it doesn't matter. Why this place looks the way it does is irrelevant. I bet if we take a look around, we'll find something. For sure. Fine. That'll do just diddly do fine. Huh. I guess the implications here is that Saki's success is built off of, uh, others. I forgive you? Amber, what? I forgive you. What? I said I forgive you. I heard you the first time. The second time doesn't make any more sense. How did you even make that noise? What? Yes, what the hell? Saki, are you okay? What? All I said was... <laughs> say it again. Do not say it again. Please do not say it again. <laughs> you guys are so lame. <laughs> she actually made the sound for the arrow. <laughs> we are hiring. We're looking for hardworking students who are willing to put in the work. Requirements, determined, math proficient, extensive medical knowledge, internship experience. Metapharmaceutical. We are hiring now. We at, Dran uh, we at Dream Electricians are looking for students who excel at electrical engineering. Studious, proficient, uh, engineer uh, proficient in engineering. Wait, it says proficient in engineering twice. Three years of experience. District electrician. We are hiring. We are looking for students who have a love for those out uh, for the outdoors and all things botanical. Hug a tree. Requirement: whimsical, 
bot uh, botanic uh, botanically proficient, moderate botanical experience, hug the tree at least once. Huh? We are hiring. Yes, we're looking for students who are, I don't know, good at drama or something. Make a slab. Sn uh, snack some wigs. Uh, that's a snatch, right? Snack some wigs. Do something. Studious, English proficient, extensive drama knowledge, 10 or more, uh, 10 or more on stage appearances. Hey, are you willing to battle me for a prize? Yeah, sure. No. Wait, what? I don't understand. Hey, you broke the factory, sir. I think I want to get Meganium. I want a. I want it for dual screen. Since uh, Nine Tails can't learn a War Veil in this version. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Sh ah, shit. All right, you win. Here, take this. Why are they giving me these? Please, I'm begging you. Take my brain, too. Sorry, I meant my brain. What? What? We manufacture only the best students here at Axis High University. If you'd like to purchase a set for your company, please consult the machine downstairs. I think I get uh, that. I think I get it. Like they're trying to say that the students are like conditioned to. I mean, isn't that a good thing though? Like the school is. I mean, unless they're like. But it's there's no reason to believe that they're. Oh fuck! I wasn't. Shit! I should have read that. I didn't. It's not broken. Ah yeah, I agree. Here, take this with you. What? My brain. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be a metaphor for the students not being able to use their brain, right? And like the school conditioning them. That's that's the conclusion I'm coming to. I'm safe now. Eyes, eyes, door. What? I'm just listening, uh, listing off what I see. Oh, I see. Whoever wrote this makes no sense. We're definitely safe now for sure. I don't really get it either. Maybe we should keep track of what these chalkboards say. I used to do escape rooms with my mom a long time ago and we had to take these notes on literally everything. You did escape rooms with your mom? I sure did and there are no regrets. Oh, so sad. Sad? I have an awesome mom who not only is a successful woman in business but also is successful because of her self only. And you, you got everything handed to you in life. You fucking wish you were me. I kinda agree with Amber. Damn, I have no reply. That was sick as hell. What a disaster. Amber's door is locked off. We teachers at uh, we teachers at Axis High are proud of our ability to create slaves for you and your company. We assure you that you will get nothing but the best results from our business. What a, a man? When I said Persona Five, I wasn't kidding. The commentary in this game is right out of that one. Well, this part of the story is ripped right out of that one. I'm getting shipments ready for pickup. Please stand aside. Um. Why are these students crammed inside these things? The location of the factory is relative to the real world is Isaki's gym and Amethyst factory. If I were to make a guess, this place is supposed to resemble an Amethyst factory. But why? You're a smart girl, Saki Blakery. Put two and two together. Amethyst factory. I've never heard of a place called Amethyst factory. Okay, so what's the takeaway here? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be in here, but what do we take away from this? <laughs> Getting shimmies ready for pick up, please stand aside. And then we can't even interact with this store, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Didn't I talk to this already? 
Welcome to Build an Employee. Please answer a series of questions in order for us to appropriately set up an employee right for you. Now it's charming. What's this place? First the chip password was student labor and now this factory? Maybe Access High isn't the paradise people like to make it out to be. But then, ag ag uh, then again, who's really surprised by this revelation? I... Grandpa said the Access High is a place for... No one cares what your grandpa said, Saki. The truth is the truth. Did that strike a, like a nerve or something? I mean, did that strike a nerve or something? Hmm. This hunk of scrap metal's here for a reason, so let's play around with it. Gonna put that... Huh? Okay. Nah. Sure, why the fuck not? Oh, Amber, please stop. Amber, what the heck are you doing? And enter. Graduating complete. Um, incorrect attributes assigned. Okay, I think I see what mini game is about to happen. What just happened? The machine did exactly what it said it would. It turned the student into a literal slave. No, this isn't right. Access High is all about opportunity. A chance for the good life. I'm sorry, but what about this spells out opportunity to you? Just look around. Why are you being so mean to me all of a sudden, Risa? Be careful what you say next, friend. Family, foe. All who crosses the line will be deleted. Ugh. What a blakery thing to say. Stay blind, then. Looks f Look, fighting isn't going to help us, though. I mean, I, I kind of agree with Risa here. We need to figure out what we're, do uh, what we're doing with this machine and continue. Saki is blinded by her her assets to realize that all oh, how much opportunity she had to she had given to her. She never really had to work for it. If you two babies want to go have a time out in a cafeteria, then do it already. That being said, Saki's incredibly intelligent. So to say she hasn't put in any F uh, work isn't true. The fact that she was able to make that robot is impressive. Now, if there's a revelation that the robot was built off of the efforts of others and she took credit for it, then she's fucked. But you know I mean, we'll get to that point. Robin and I will do all the work as usual. I'm glad Am Amber, Amber, join the main group, girl. Come on. You understand. You, you get it. <laughs> I've been doing all the bullshit. Please answer a series of questions in order for us to appropriately set up an employee right for you. All right, let's do this. Number one, which attribute would you like your employee to be most proficient with? Uh, oh, so these are based off of the chalkboard. Okay. So what was it? Uh, studious? Uh... I actually have it right here. English. Drama proficiency. And 10 or more performances. Thank you for your submissions. We're generating students for you right now. Hmm. Looks like we got it wrong again. There's got to be a clue somewhere. But that was the correct attributes. Huh. Maybe it's not the right color or do I have to do it in a specific order let's start with determine math medical proficiency and internship experience correct attributes to sign what they still went in anyway that's depressing we did it nothing happened though no the crate that once uh, that student fell into changed in color oh I don't think we're done just yet Aw, oh, fiddlesticks. Ah, uh, guys, look it. I remember there being a blue bar on this door. I think completing these uh, orders uh, these orders is opening up the door as well. Nice eye. Guess we're on the right track then. Come on, bitches. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> Studious. English. I'm hoping the Robin route is better than the Aelita route. So far, it doesn't seem too bad. All right. Next. Uh, oops. I messed up. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, whimsical. Botany. Hug the tree. Uh, 
Oh. Flora. Wow. That person was... Flora. What a disgusting person. Of course they come from here. What did Flora do? Saki, you can't be serious. How do you not know? Can you just tell me? Flora's the leader of Blazestar. She blew up the Grand Dream Ball literally a month ago. Flora? Blazestar? What are you guys talking about? What the fuck? You don't even remember those events happening? How is that even possible? Stop yelling at me. My head is going to explode. Yeah, my bad. I can still be a little too fiery. Sorry, Saki. Uh, it's okay. Just had a gamer moment is all. That ain't a gamer moment, sweetheart. We should keep going. A gamer moment is when you start fucking wilding and saying some ridiculous things. Like the gamer word, which I am not going to say here. because I like it being on YouTube. <laughs> hey, is that Gene? That looks like Gene. Oh, it's not Gene. It's just guy number three. We've done it. All the orders are not. Uh, not all the orders are now complete. Looks like we can go through the door now too. <laughs> we'll get out of this school in no time. All right. Amber, this door is you on it. Yeah, I can see that. But why me? Don't you guys remember? This must be a nightmare door. Oh yeah, Zeta said that we're supposed to be looking for these. Only one person is allowed to enter, and they have to successfully go through this sort of trial. Exactly. My hyperactive little friend. Zeta, what do you want? What, I can't join my friends in a little get-together? Aw, oh, yeah, now it's a party. High five. Up high. Down low. Too slow. <laughs> this guy is a riot. Why do you guys fight so often again? Saki, you're a clown. Anyway, he pushed her aside. Anyway, you're right. That's a nightmare door. Clearing the nightmare room within it is essential to your escape. Think you're ready for the task, Amber? Sure I am. How difficult could it be? Okay, I like the confidence. What about you, Robin? You think you got the strength to continue like this? Of course. That's what I like to hear. Let's see if you got the bite to match your bark. Oh, here he comes. Zeta. I wasn't expecting this. Okay. That's an arbitrary way to start a fight. I think Zeta has many special attackers, but I probably don't even need light screen. Too low HP. It's fine though. Bomp, bomp. Woo! Take that, bro. All oh, right, Sucker Punch. I should've just healed up. It's fine, though. A crit? Are you fucking kidding me? Another? Oh my god, bro. You wanna crit me some more? Let's do this. Ooh, that hit me twice. I was gonna say, it, it better take recoil both times. Oh man. That kinda sucks. Good though, maybe. Oh, nice. Hey, you can't complain. You got two crits back to back, motherfucker. A fucking weakness policy. Hot damn. I'm gonna need something that could take a full hit from this thing, and it's faster than that. Uh. Uh, I don't think Hydreigon is one. No, it wasn't. Damn it. I wasn't healed up. That's fucking annoying. 
What is this Pokemon? Mini or It's fine though. Mm, at least I know what to expect this time around. Actually, I could fucking set up and see through those. Oh, that was different. All right, I'm gonna just try and set up on him. Motherfucker, bro. I'm gonna just try and set up on him. Should be free. There, but I wasn't expecting that. He did he think that would kill me? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. Oh. It's fine. Why can't I use the... Uh, I have pre Marinium Z, but I can't use my Z move. Unburden. Yeah, I know. You were gonna keep clicking it anyway. A crit! Stop critting me! Fuck! Oh my god! I keep getting fucking crit by that Absol! God damn it, that shit's annoying. I swear I hate crits in Pokemon because they're bullshit. I mean, I don't know, man. I could probably try and kill that fucking mini or outright, but it's like. A fucking course focus sash. There's always a damn focus sash. Oh. Like up, I couldn't live that. That's fair. Yeah. 
Oh! Okay. I haven't saved it, so... Just kill me, please. Just kill me. Please, just get it over with. Please, please, please. Win the fight, dude. Uh, energy root. Whatever, man. Just use Stone Edge. You'll fucking crit me. I promise. Tired of losing my fucking Pokemon to goddamn explosion and crit. That shit is annoying. You wanna blow yourself the fuck up? Alright, fine. I'll let you blow yourself up. Let's see. Who's got the life? You blow yourself up, sir. I'm gonna let you do it. What? What's damage consistency? I fucking flinched! Are you fucking kidding me?! Jesus Christ! Oh my... Whatever. Whatever. Between the fucking... Godly ass... I got crit by his asshole at least five times in these attempts. And then he fucking... Whatever. Sure. Can I set up on this thing? I do a fuck ton of damage. Oh, it fucking burned me! Are you serious? Come on! I know you got two opportunities, but the... Uh, it's like, what? 10%? He burnt me last time! Why do I keep getting fucking burned? Damn it, man. Just wasting turns on this shit. Fuck out of here. Nah, bro. Get out of here. Yeah, send that asshole out. Yep. A fucking crit! Okay, whatever. Bro. 
That thing's crit percent has to be like what? 80, 90 percent. I think it's crit every single attack. Every single one. Fuck out of here. Fuck off, dude. Well then, that's... Wait, what? I can't even see anything. More like privilege. You guys keep going at your current pace, you'll escape in no time. But don't forget about Nightmare Room. They're real events and memory... I know what a Nightmare Room is. Well, Amber, are you ready to go through? Um, yeah, I am. What the fuck? Like, oh, that shit's so annoying. I don't know if it's some sort of Absol Crest or if it's I, I, if it's holding like some freaking held item that triples its critical hit uh, critical hit rate, but that thing is fucking annoying. Damn it, dude. Whatever, we're past it. Not even particularly a hard battle. It's just frustrating to get fucking crit like that. A nightmare door. Yeah. You got this, Amber. Will this take us to the same one that we... Yeah, it's... so we do this... So wait, I have to do this twice? I am totally am underwater, but holy hell is freezing. Why is the water so cold? And why am I here? I've never been this underwater before. This is way too cold to be in Terrajuma. Zeta just said Rightmare Realms were supposed to be events or memories that are connected to me in some way. Did someone just bump into me? Huh? Excuse me, you just can't be bumping into people like that. Hello, can you hear me? Oh shit, what is that? Oh hell no. N no! Wh what? Where am I? Where's that vortex? Uh, Amber. H hey, you're Aelita. And you're Amber. Yes, I am, I think. But also, what the hell are you doing here? All right, so I'm just going to skip all the text here because we've done this already, right? Booting into a lot of trouble. Do you wish to turn on the interceptor's wish? No. Um. Bloom, what are you doing? Please get the patient ready. What? So I guess I have to talk to all the things that are differently colored. Wait, what? Yeah, like, we, we've done this already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess... I guess it makes sense. Because it, depending on... Huh. No, it makes sense because depending on who you uh, did this with first, um, you you would still need to... Well, damn, dude, because if, if this... Like, just thinking about it, if this is in this storyline... Well, actually, we haven't done this. But if this is the same in this storyline, then it's even... The other one is even worse because that was like the only thing I felt was worth a damn. Like, it was this. Oh, fuck. Of course he starts with a god team. Oh wait, it's an electric type move? Oh, wait, what ability does this Pokemon have? Does it have, uh... What's that move? What's that Pokemon? Galvanize. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Pixelate for electric type move. Yeah, that's cool. I wish Free Marina got Boom Burst, right? Like, imagine. <laughs> Wait, they both have Quagsires? What the fuck? Sh 
shit probably has unaware too. I like a boat. plays out exactly the same, right? Or do we go in here? No. We take it here. Um, wait, no? We go in here, yeah. So it's mostly the same. Is there something in here? Oh, what? Okay. It's gotta be, uh, it's gotta get done. Eh? This isn't a game, Isha. Keep your side of the bargain and we keep ours. I don't see this as a game, I assure you. But creating such a, a thing, it takes time. We're working hard on it. You and your staff need to get it together. The dome is being installed starting tomorrow. It'll be twice, uh, it'll be a two month long project. We're going to need it done by the end of its construction. I understand, Cassandra. Also, I was not referring to my staff when I said we. Then who? <laughs> Listen, we supplied a good uh, subject for you, yes? You mean the subject that's trying to escape right now? That's your fault for not sedating him. Well, uh, for st sedating him well enough, Miss Cassandra. Wait, so Cassandra and Team Zen are the ones behind saving Deegan? So that means Deegan is with them, maybe? We dropped off the delivery. It's up to you to figure out how to manage him. Cassandra is affiliated with Isha? Yeah, she is. And she's the one who gave dad to the hospital of hope? What the fuck is going on around here? Can I just... Hey, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Hmm. This song sounds familiar. Is it from something I know? Unlock, baby. Elevator key just lying in the middle of the on, in the floor in the middle of the room. Only even Pokemon. All right, so I guess that's some insightful information. And now I have to bottle him as Amber. Okay. Didn't Alita have all her Pokemon when she fought him? But Amber only gets. That's interesting. I didn't really do much. That still did a fuck ton of damage. Huh. I'm gonna miss, aren't I? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna die, though. Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, how does this work? Wait, did I give up my money for that? Fuck. No, she has her own money. Alright, cool. Wait, uh, hmm. That's wrong. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. I'm sending Hydreigon to just fucking close combat it. Get this done. Alright, cool. No! Alright. Oh, there's actually eating birthday cake up there. Alright. 
All right, now we see something different because all of that, all of that, I skipped all of it because it was all the same from the last time. So this, it's just, it would, it, we'd be wasting time. Wait, guys, the door's open now. Well, let's go inside then. Amber, are you okay? Amber explained what happened to her in the nightmare room. So let me get this straight. You and Aelita saved this man named Deegan, and it turns out that he's your father and Aelita's uncle? Uh-huh. You guys have a cousin. I didn't think this was possible. I mean, you guys are cousins. I didn't think this was possible. Uh, possible. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you. Thank you, Robin. That really means a lot to me. Family's kind of overrated. Shut your mouth, Saki Baker. You wouldn't know how this feels. Thank goodness. If any, for real, Saki, shut the fuck up, cuz. Yeah. If anything, it's useful to know uh, who the other four participants are. Hey, Ambot, what's that thing behind you? Eh? Well, this thing always was this thing always here? It's a present. Risa, you open it. What if it's a trap? I'm scared. I don't want to do it. Oh, come on. I hardly doubt it's a trap. Just do it. If you're so optimistic, then you do it. I had to go through... One second. There we go. I had to go through the nightmare realm. I've done my part. Just open it, Risa. I'm telling y'all that I don't... Uh, I ain't want to do it. I ain't want to do it. Okay. <laughs> now look at what you've done. Looky, you here, you sons of... What the... Everybody wants me to take a look in this here box, but I refuse. Uh, ride him, cowgirl, Risa. I can't help myself. I'm Southern gal. When I get right up, so, so when I get upset, my accent just comes right out. Okay, okay. I'll, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll open it up. Jeez. Don't get your high, uh, haystack in a ruffle. There it is. Open. No booby trap or anything. What's inside? I want to know. The Sharabella. Okay, yeah, we we've kind of known about this. Are they gonna are they gonna give us the same information in both sides? She and I were childhood friends along with Jean. She didn't have many friends besides us because she had well. Cheryl was known to get really angry when things irritated her. A lot of students and faculty at the school were scared of her. What was she like? Gonna go postal or something? Oh yeah, I heard about that. One time she broke some desk in class because of a bad grade. Oh, so she actually was the type to go postal. Okay, fair enough. I wonder what it's doing in this room of all places. Oh well, it's either anything. Uh, it's either anything else in the, in this guy. Ew! There's hair in there. Oh, my hair extensions. So that's where they went. Such a fool. I don't even realize what room we're in. It's not a coincidence at all, then. Uh. Wait, what? Okay, let me heal up. This classroom was the place everything all began. It all began. It's where Risa Raider found her courage. This is the classroom Shara and I had in our first year of school. I just had—I had just pretended uh, presented my music to her. Uh, I had just presented my music to some record labels, and they really liked what they heard. But they needed sponsorship before they fully signed me. When Mr. Blakery heard of my talent, he gave me the sponsorship I needed. A few days after that, what are you worrying about? I don't know. It's just. Hey, can you write down the status for Cosmia and Comet real quick? What the fuck? Oh, sure. Aw, oh, come here, Comet. You're so cute and also a shiny. Did it. Tiddo? Hey, Cosmia, stop harassing your brother, you rascal. I never having children because of you two. With that out of the way, what was the issue again? You're gonna laugh at me if I tell you. So wait, Cosmia and Com Comet are fucking dittos? Okay. That's, that's interesting. But tell me anyway, it's just, I have, so they must be like Zeta then, that's the only conclusion. It's just, I have a pretty bad stage fright. I'm afraid of public of speaking in general. Girl, that's all. I've known, uh, I've known that since we were kids. Don't get me started on our science fair project in middle school. You broke out in your southern accent because you were too scared to use your normal one. Thanks for bringing up painful memories. I actually figured this would be a problem, so I went ahead and prepared something. Wouldn't, after a while, like, her normal accent would become, like, how she speaks? I don't know. I, I don't really... I, I guess I'm not bilingual or not really... Bi it's not really a language, but I don't have a different dialect, so I wouldn't know. Like, I've, I've seen cases where someone gets upset and they're bilingual, so they rent their frustration in their native language. Close your eyes. Okay, they're closed. Just give me a moment. This is gonna take a bit. And voila. Huh? What the? They're hair extensions. Yeah, I got that, but 
I read a book that said a lot of people who have issues with public speaking often alleviate this by becoming someone else. That's ridiculous. No, really. There are reports of like, uh, there are reports of like mascots who wear suits who usually have issues with stuff like this. I guess it makes sense. It's kind of like the whole VTuber thing. Uh, that's a, so I would, I, I'd argue that that's like an extension of that concept, but when they aren't seen, they have better inco uh, coincidences, uh, not coincidences, confidence. It's all a mental thing. Obviously, this isn't the case with you, but the concept is similar. Risa Brunette is afraid of being in front of a crowd, but uh, Risa Raider loves it. Risa Raider. Yeah, that's the stage name I came up for you. It's also, uh, if you play the diva character, Risa Raider, you won't feel so scared. You know, I do feel a bit more confident already. I think I understand. Risa Raider is fearless. I can do anything as Risa Raider. Yeah, but don't forget that Risa Raider and Risa Burnett are one and the same. You both can do anything if you put your mind to it. This is just something to break the ice. Shara, you're the best. That'll be 3,000 Poké Dolls. Maybe 30 bucks. But unfortunately, those good memories of us didn't last. Shortly before she disappeared, we got into a huge fight and our friendship didn't survive it. I regret it every day. What happened? Clearly, if the poster is here, it means Shara is connected to this game somehow. If you know something, you should tell us. Sorry, but I can't. You can't or you won't? Oh, please. The sick act won't give you a pass for this. What the? R Risa? Amber, I don't think she's faking this. Shit, are you okay? What's going on? Attention students. Attention students. This is your principal, the puppet master speaking. We have a special guest in the building. Please come to the auditorium at once. Thank you. One thing after the other. What is it now? We should go to the auditorium. What about you? You look like you're about to pass the heck out. I'm okay. I think I just had some sort of spell or something. Seriously, guys, I'm fine. Let's just get to the auditorium. I doubt we'll be able to progress any further while doing that anyway. All right, to the auditorium then. I'm getting, uh, I remember Risa's actually supposed to be like, what, terminally ill? Terminally ill. Oh, wait. We broke out of the machines and now we shall rule. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Go learn. Mm. Hypno. I live that. I'm surprised. <laughs> Dream. I lose. <laughs> Cure it. Why do we keep giving us these candies, though? Okay. So, we'll save it. Who are ye? At last, Saki Blakery. Are you excited? Today's the day you finally die. Well, that's ominous. Can we postpone that? I'm kind of busy. Oh, shit. Threw her against the wall. Ah, S Saki. Who the fuck do you think you're hurting my friend like that? Saki the Blakery and the rest of the Blakery's all deserve to be wiped out. They're a disgusting disease that plagues Avium. No, this entire planet. I won't stop until the name is erased completely. You're gonna have to go through us. Anyone who has the gall to protect the Blakery shall share the same fate. You're deranged. You're not getting away with this. This is unfortunate. I do not want to fight you all, but if it is what it is. And you all, you mean me, right? I sent him the wrong Pokemon for this. Definitely sent him the wrong Pokemon for this. I forgot I don't have a flying type move on this. Maybe? Yeah, I didn't expect that to kill for it. <laughs> it's fine. That shit in the mouth. Oh, hell no. There we go.
I won't stop here. I will succeed in the end. You three are not a part of this. I do not wish to harm you. But if you continue to protect Saki Blakery, you will all be just as guilty. Fine by me. People think I'm guilty of a lot of things. What's one more on the list? Suit yourself. I'll leave you alone for now. But next time. Next time you show up, we'll hear. Uh, next time you show up here, we'll shove that mask so far up your ass that you'll be seeing three nightmares in real time. <laughs> Damn. And I'm telling y'all that's a promise. Now go on and get out of here. <laughs> fucking country accent i don't know about you guys but i think we found our uh found out our we found our intruder yeah oh yeah oops Saki got fucking floored Saki, are you good i got vibe check directly to the dome i'm fine but damn i have a headache Ugh. but why did they attack me i didn't do anything it's not about what you did it's about who you are they said all blakeries had to die for something i wonder what they had against the blakeries who knows Maybe they had a son who a uh, son we ba uh, we packed up in a box downstairs. Amber, that's morbid. <laughs> Next time they show up, I'll vibe check them harder. You'll see. I'm angry now, not angry, angry. Come on, the next place we gotta go is upstairs now, right? Somewhere else is to uh, somewhere else to go but up. So, great stairs. Let's go. Hmm. Are we in some art gallery or something? Looks just like the one, yeah. Huh, I could have sworn I've seen this place before. Have you been here? Nah, but it's familiar. Who knows, maybe if we walk around, I'll get a brain blast. It's more likely we'll get a brain fart. Damn, why everyone trying to roast me today? Screw y'all, I'm gonna go make a- I'm gonna go take a look around. There she goes. No Saki, she'll break something, and then we'll be stuck here. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Right. You at your own XXX. Use the terminal. What's this now? Looks like we can move the boxes in any direction, but it will keep moving until it's hit something. Let's play around with these. supposed to get them all to the open side I don't think that's possible though hmm. because whatever gets stuck here gets stuck to do that there are more of them oh my god do I have to do all of these oh, okay that one was complete but the other one didn't have a green one you've done it I wonder what we're trying to achieve with these we're just doing a simulation of an SPU uh, driver's normal day to day don't know about that Whoa, people just appeared. What's going on? Is it because we solved the puzzle? First of all, Robin solved the puzzle, not us. Second, it's possible. Maybe we're on the right track. I saw other monitors in the room. Let's check them out. Hmm. For, uh, um, excuse me. I hope I'll be useful to you. Wow, she, uh... Worker. That is not the floor I know. But there's no green box, so... 
I'm guessing we have to get the blue one down there. Guessing the, the blue one's the only one that's a different color, so I move this. This one's hard. Let's try a different one. Where is this? Is this Grand Dream City? Looks like it. Let's try this one. Um, I don't know, I need to go. Wait, that one doesn't move. Is it not supposed to? Pretty sure I need all three of them and I need the red one in between them. So why doesn't that one move? It was moving the last time. Now it's not moving. Is that, is that a bug? Wait. How the fuck did I get over? Wait, what? Is this right? Was I over here? I was over here, right? What? What the fuck just happened there?
There we go. We all need cuz Aka Honestly, how old are you? Get down from there. I'm good. More people are showing up. Uh, more people showed up. I guess we're doing the right thing. Let's keep doing what we're doing then. There's a lot more mini games than I usually like doing, to be honest with you. There we go. You've done it. I wonder what we're trying to achieve by doing this. Yeah, more people just show up. Fucking Cassandra. As your mayor, I'll make our new project the best it can be. What is he? And then this fucking annoying ass one over here is the last one. Damn it. Ugh. Even if I get it... It was nowhere near as hard as I, I was, I was making it way harder than it actually was. That's, and that's done. What a joke. What's the point of all this? I doubt they just outright tell you, uh, they tell us. That hasn't been the theme of this adventure. Look, there's a pattern here. You get a corrupt slave, you get a corrupt slave. The obvious reference from Amber's aside, I think that's all the terminals. You sure? Maybe there's one you miss. Deliveries we've done here coincided with the packaging we did downstairs. And we only had time for four of them, and they were all companies we've heard before. Okay, then now what? I noticed that the entire table has been getting filled up the more we do uh, did these deliveries. I bet anything that's uh, that it's done now. Let's check it out. What's going on? The diorama of the city is complete. What else does this dumb game want from us? We're probably still missing something. Have you noticed that the walls have buildings on them? The layout of the room is similar to Grand Dream City. I think it's supposed to be that way. The white outline would be the, uh, would be the District of Hope, etc, etc. If that's the case, I think I saw some, I saw some wrong buildings in the uh, wrong district. Okay team, search the walls. Oh, wait, what? The master really likes to fucking fuck with you just to get to the point, man. Oh, yeah. I think that's all of them, right? I missed one? Mr. Blake over here. Oh, shoot. Looks like we attracted an audience. This is different. I think we did everything we needed to. Grandpa! Everyone, may I please have your attention? Thank you all for joining me here at the lovely Oblitis Town Art Gallery. It is my pleasure to present you the project I've been working on for decades. The Dream Project. Construction of Grand Dream City is already complete. Starting in three weeks, Grand Dream City will be open to the public. I, Thomas Fleckery, will be your humble mayor for your first year. Grand Dream City's first open, uh, Grand Dream City first opened its doors 13 years ago. Now I remember this place. I've never been here, but Grandpa has a picture of this moment in his office. Grand Dream City's grand opening council. Grandpa hired a ton of companies to build the city for him. Isn't this diorama missing something? Where's the dome, a big dome above it? 
Grandpa didn't have a dome in his original blueprints. It came after Cassandra proposed a way to make Grand Dream City's life more interactive. Man, so this is what money can do. Shitty must be, uh, shitty but impressive. Yeah, Grandpa does amazing things. Well, what was that? That was a huge crash or something. Excuse me, if I may have your attention. They're not done talking yet? Whoa, Team Zen? What are these idiots doing here? Madam X, I'm here with my proposal. Begin. Instead of doing a long-term stretch like you laid out, I think there's another possibility we can look into. Grandry City is the metropolis of Avian region. It is currently has the population of 346,932, a small number for such a large city. But it's fairly new and sees over 50,000 new residents a year. This is why I wanted to work separately from Team Zen and run for mayor. As mayor, I can introduce my dome mechanism. I'd introduce it as a way to make life easier in the city, but it can also work as a cage. Ridiculous. Even if it were to succeed, what would we do? We're outnumbered by astronomical amounts. There would be no contest. This project is actually a two-part deal. We Team Zen wouldn't need to deal with the people in the city ourselves. I propose my subject, the Zen. I, I propose my subject, the Zen Purges. Behold, the most powerful dimensional rift. The Zen Purges would be strong enough to wipe out the entire population of Grand Dream City in under three hours. The Zen Purges would be equipped with every possible scenario in mind, even failure. I would like your input on this if possible. My team and I have been working on this for months, and we're comfortable enough with the results to present this to you now. With the base information I have now, I cannot say whether or not I approve. However, I am willing to put more resources into this project if more detailed results are shown to be positive in our favor. This should be a compromise creating a view. Yes, ma'am. We'll get right to work. The strongest dimensional rift? I don't know what to say. This is so messed up. How are we? So you're telling me there's a giant, or not really giant, but a, a ultra powerful dimensional rift somewhere in the city and nobody knows about it? How are we supposed to beat this uh, something like that? We can and we will. We have people we can fight. We can fight. Team Zen can't defeat all of us. Zen Purges Proposal. The Zen Purges was designed to be the strongest dimensional rift created using the massive amount of energy obtained from the Shadow Pokemon Lab and other sources. We've made this impossible uh, feat possible, allowing the Zen Purges to be set loose in Grand Dream City. Uh, allowing the Zen Purges to be set loose in Grand Dream City will result ensure the success of Project Renovare. The proposal was approved by Madam X. Usually, dimensional rifts are comprised of one soul. I have been experimenting with using more than one. The setbacks I have experienced with this is that no matter how hard I try, I cannot merge all souls into Chimera S Beam, but I can connect them in a node-like format, all separate yet connected at the same time. I need to do more testing. So is the Zen Purges like turning all Pokemon in the city into uh it'd be like a, a massive shadow Pokemon stampede or massive dimensional rift stampede or something like that though many test trials have we have man, uh, manufactured a way for Zen purges to be completely and utterly unbeatable for this to be possible we must set four points of energy across certain marked areas this is provided in report in report before the importance of the points will be explained further in a future report unbeatable we're we're all gonna die in this city i i can't do this anymore risa i know she was terminally ill what's happening with her well what happened you passed out slammed yourself right on the ground uh, what is that pain is are you okay yeah i'm fine now i think i'll be okay thanks robin are you sure you're okay this is the second time now and this was worse yeah, things back there just got really intense. I think it triggered some sort of attack. I mean, strongest dimensional rift? An attack on the city? Certainly their goal can't just be domination. No, they're doing this with the intent of taking as many lives as possible. How can you not be freaking the freak out, Amber? The Zen Purchase is going to kill us. Because if it was a hopeless situation, why even bother giving it uh, giving it to us? Huh? Think of it. In con uh, think of it in context of, this puppet of the game the Puppet Master is putting us through. What do we get for progress, uh, progressing and accomplishing things in his world? Sadness? Yeah, but besides that, uh, fuck, was I guess interaction or something? Information or information? The Puppet Master is giving us information because it will help us in some way. If we're getting information on the Zen Purchase now, then that means there's still hope left. We need to stop whining and bitching and just do something about it. Everyone, Amber's the traitor. What? 
Amber would never ever say something so logical. It's just not her. <laughs> so the Puppet Master's ultimate objective is to help us with the info. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Hold on, I didn't say that. His objectives could be something else entirely. Us getting info might just be a side effect of that. Spooky. Anyway, we know details is in Purges now. That means it's up to us to get out of this here. Uh, get us, get us. It's up to us to get out of here safely and relay these details to everyone. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good. I'm done with this art gallery. Let's move on. Nice job, Amber. Amber really stepped the fuck up. This, they knocked it out of the park with her. And purges, huh? Just know, Cassandra, I'm coming for your ass. You know, I've been wondering how close to the end we, uh, of this we are. Access High University is only three stories high, but it's still massive. It pretty much ends whenever the Puppet Master wants it to end. For all we know, this could be 100 floors or 1,000. Oh god, I can't take it anymore. Going up one flight of stairs was enough to bring back my depression. Depression? Come on, there's no need for that. Ugh. What's wrong? Scared of High Roller Zeta? Ah, uh, yeah, it's Zeta again. One more time. High five. Up high. Down low you grow as a person oh damn you two done being buddy buddy yeah all right all right enough messing around you four made it all the way to the top but now you got to get through one more trial the final trial is simple you all will be entering one of these buildings alone once you're inside you'll answer a series of questions all you have to do is pass all of you if one of you fails you'll have to start over sounds simple enough what's the point of this <laughs> we'll see Something is fishy about this. Fishy? Nah, Zed is a cool guy. This, I'm sure everything's gonna be, uh, whatever that word was. Doors will open. All right, let's do this. Good luck, Robin. Welcome to the job interview 3000. Today we'll be asking you three important questions. Please answer them truthfully. Let us begin with, do you want this job? Yes. Thank you, your answer's been recorded. Question number two. Three other people are interviewing for the same position. Will you betray one of them to get this position? Thank you, your answer's been recorded. I don't betray my friends. Let us begin. It seems like user Risa has voted to betray you. This betrayal will cause you to fail this interview. If the, you betray her back, your points stolen from you will be returned. Do you betray Risa? No. All your answers have been recorded. Your responses have been calculated and will now be shared. Robin 4, Risa 4, Amber 2, Saki 3. All participants must have 6 points to pass. Unfortunately, not all participants were able to reach 6 points. Therefore, this experiment has ended in failure. Thank you and have a good day. We failed. Yeah, we did, but I'm not surprised. Me neither. Risa, how could you? What? You hit betray. I hope you're satisfied because I took my points right back. What? I didn't do not I did not do such a thing. You're lying idiots i know you're not talking Saki. you betrayed me whatever you know you want to know something i was being a team player until robin betrayed me what fine play dumb idiot let's try the game again and this time don't do it guys just real that doesn't make any sense what robin Risa, amber and Saki played the game once and then twice and then three times then four times then ten all fruitless i'm telling y'all right now <laughs> Right now, if you don't cut it out, I swear to angels above that I will smack heat violence on you. <laughs> you guys just love pissing me off, huh? You're all just a bunch of failures holding me back. Come on, if you attack, then my army will attack ten times the sphere. Suffering will be an uh, afterthought. True despair always. You think at least three of us would get six points simultaneously, but now, but no. Because you're all fucking idiots. Wait, what? I said after off the game we've been after all the games we've played, you think at least three people with six points, but we've only ever gotten two because someone doesn't want to cooperate. Oh my lord. Guys, let's play the game one more time, okay? I refuse, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. Alright, one more. But there's the catch. No matter what answer the same uh no matter what, answer the same as you did in the last match. Just do it, okay? No messing around. Robin 6, answer, uh, Risa 2, Amber 6, Saki 0. Those were our scores for the last round. Please remember them. That's it. Armageddon begins now. Say your prayers. Look, someone was... Oh my god, we're idiots. Y yeah. Huh? Did you guys answer absolutely the same as last time? Yes. Our scores this time were... 
Robin 2, the, the values are the same, but the scores were different for per person. So the game is rigged. Yeah, I mean, we did we have to play the game 11 times to figure that out? Our score before that were Robin 6, Risa 2, Amber 6, Saki 0. If we played exactly the same, then how is it possible a game of only three questions? Even if we've all played differently, there was a high chance at least three of us ended up with six points. The game is rigged. Yeah, did we have to play the game 11 times to figure that out? No matter what we chose, the system allotted us random amount of points. I don't think uh, I don't think betraying others matters either. I think the system says someone betrayed us on the third question, regardless if that actually happened or not. In that case, I'm pretty certain none of us betrayed each other even on the first round. Well, fuck. What do we do? We can't win a rent game. Just don't play. I'm certain this whole game was meant to be won. We must have missed something somewhere. The only way to win a game that's rigged is to not play it. Remember what Zeta said all the way back at the beginning. Helping the people around the school will be essential to your success. It's that the machine we found in the factories are still without use. Oh uh, yeah, we kind of skipped over it because it was broken. We should head back downstairs and help out with that then. I hate helping out. It's the only thing we got. We may as well just try it. <laughs> okay. Fuck you, Saki Bailey. I mean, yeah, yeah, fuck Saki too, but. Okay, so now we're back here. Oh, do I have to do this again? No. Right? I don't have to do this again. Do I talk to her now? Oh no, we come here. Okay, cool. All three brains. They're here. Plop. She, uh, creating basically anything within reason. The services are no longer required. Go to hell. Okay. It's done, and it's exactly how I imagined it. What did you make? Feast your eyes, peasants. Behold, it's an electro bat. You wasted our time making a bat? But hear me out. A really long time ago, my best friend Eric and I streamed some game called Dangitimpa. And it had these things. Dangitimpa. Danganronpa? Is that the, a Danganronpa reference? And it had these things called electric golf clubs. Hitting these things on appliances made these cease to function. These electric bats are the same, but also I gave it a good old Saki Bakery touch. The electric bat is also known as the one hit KO bat. It'll knock anything out with just one hit. Isn't that so funny? Just one bonk. So if we smash the monitors with these bats, they'll cease to function. The doors in there are held shut by the programming in the monitors. So if we shut off the power, the door will swing open. Easy. We'll all pass. Now that I know this machine actually works, I'll have to make one for each of you. All right. These things are pretty heavy, but it'll get the job done. All right, let's go smash in some screens. Nope, not so fast. Oh, here we go. What's your deal, Zeta? I'm getting real tired of being pushed and pulled places. And I'm tired of cheaters. The electric bats? Hand them over. You cheated first. The last trial is rigged. Maybe. If you all work together, maybe if you all work together, you'd make it through. We did work together. The product of our work are the electro bats. We ain't giving them up to you. Fine then. I guess I'll have to make the sec bots uh, penalize you all for cheating. I haven't seen Robin in so long and the first thing I get to do is punch their face in? Fight me, bitch! Now that's what I call I content. Proposal. Robin, Risa, Amber, and Saki all retrieve electro bats, all known as the one hit KO bat. Yeah? Proposal. We keep the electro bats and smash their heads in. Are you serious? You're gonna fight back? Let's not get the head of ourselves in the What the hell? <laughs> the sprite changed for some reason. Half gone up. With your electro bat in hand, you're allowed to go wild. Press A. Well <laughs> this is kinda funny. Uh, oh. <laughs> Are there any more? I want to slap the shit out of them. Want to go upstairs? Get the fuck out of here.
<laughs> Bro, what is this game, dude? Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da. Right, let's see. Owie! Something opened up upstairs. Hit the fuck back. Freaking home run back contact. Oh, yeah. All right, let me in. <laughs> End the game once and for all. Fuck a screen. Fuck a screen. Fuck a screen. The electro bat fizzled away into nothing. Goodbye, electro bat. No. Get out. Get out. What the? Get out. Get out of my head. Huh? What a fucking rush that was. Awesome. Saki, that was a brilliant plan. This whole trip was fucking worth it. My body screams for more blood. I wish to decimate more. Let me loose. I want to go feral. Drink a glass of water. Trust me, that'll be enough. Robin, I know we all got a little separated back there, but it's good to see you in one piece. How was your rampage? <laughs> My body screams for more. Robin understands me. We must be satiated to be satisfied. Okay, who wants to do round two? Well, it doesn't matter. Even if we can't, I uh, want it to continue. It looks like we can't. All of our electric bats were destroyed after hitting all three monitors. Coincidence, huh? Are you implying that this was a pre-planned and that the hammers were gonna break at the end of no matter what? No, I would never. Wait, where's Risa? Risa, she didn't come out of her room yet. Like, wait, guys, look over there. What the? Risa! What the hell? The masked guy. But how? Was he waiting inside the room for Risa to enter or something? I thought only one person was allowed in at the time. It doesn't matter. We have to go help Risa. Guys, I found this on the floor of Risa's room. The electrobat. It wasn't destroyed. The monitor in the last room was in perfect condition, too. That means Risa never struck it with the electrobat. Then I was right. That creep was waiting for someone to walk into the final room. When Risa walked in, he... Eh? Someone locked the doors. We can't go back through this way. Risa! Is that a teleportation pad? Something about this is just... Never mind. I won't let that bastard hurt my friend Risa. I'm coming. Phrasing. Alright, uh... Where'd they go? Is this how Risa ends up in the other room? I mean, the other world? Probably... Here we go. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you took too long. Now you got nowhere to run either. Now, get talking. Where is Risa? Give her back to us. Oh, why the silent treatment? Last time you were so eager to talk. Looks like you want to be difficult then. Fine. Is that a fucking Genesec? Sir? I didn't ask for this. Can I transform into... Yeah, I felt... I felt I was gonna happen. How the hell did he get a Genesect? It's fine. This doesn't seem necessarily difficult to deal with. Now you've got nothing. You are nothing but an obstacle. Move out of the way. We always know how to make them talk. We want to know what you did with Risa, and you're going to tell us. <laughs> you just don't know your position. You act as though you've won. Foolish arrogance is deadly. It's ironic that you say that. I know what I, uh, I know that I've won. And why is that? Because of this. Saki, Serpentine Strike. <laughs> the electro bat has turned into dust. It's gone forever. I think you swung that extra bat a little too hard. Y yeah. Oh, look. Someone's waking up. Let's see who's under the mask, yes? Wait. Stop. 
Who? T Thomas? T you weren't supposed to see my face. You guys know who this is? That's my brother, Thomas. R brother? What? You don't have a brother. I was adopted into the Blakery name five years ago. Saki and I are not bound by blood, but by name. Cool story. Now tell us where Risa is. Thomas, tell us right now. What did you do with Risa? Risa was, uh, was ejected from the game. Ejected? What do you mean ejected? She's no longer in this game. So she's woken up? I didn't say that. Her consciousness is in limbo. She won't make or awake until everything has been cleared. Why did you do this? Why Risa of all people? Uh, why Risa out of all of us? You all tried to bend the rules. Because of that, punishment was in order. Risa just happened to be the pod I was hiding in. Bullshit. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. The Puppet Master happens to have everything lined up for Saki to make those electric bats, and we're the ones who cheated? Tell me the real reason you kidnapped Risa. Has anyone ever told you that you're annoyingly persistent? I've been told that once or twice, but I didn't ask. <laughs> you're not getting a word out of me. Why not, Thomas? You have to tell us. Because the game is just yet, uh, has yet to be completed. Maybe once you all complete this game, I'll be more willing to talk. I think you mean once we complete the game. You're coming with us, baby. There's no way I can let you out of my sight now. You think I'm going with you? Preposterous. Where are you gonna go? Then, last I checked, your, por uh, your portal out of here expired. I wonder about that. Exact, uh, actually. Kind of convenient for it to close on you. Could it be perhaps that you were abandoned? I've considered it. It's possible that I am now considered a player in this game. Glad, uh, glad you see things our way. Now get up and walk. And where exactly are we going? Back upstairs through the uh, teleporter. We'll show you the way. It seems I don't have a choice. Very well. I'll accompany you for the time being. See, I mean, Thomas doesn't really matter all that much, but at the very least, he's not some no name that existed just to be an obstacle in the other arc. Like, what's that dude name was? Uh, Jerry? Yeah, Jerry. I think that was his name. Uh, Bean. It was Bean. Uh, oh, do we have? All right, we have, we have to go through the teleporter, right? Yeah. Oh, this is Saki's room. Okay, cool. We got another one of these rooms. This door has me on it. It's a nightmare door. Remember, you guys made me go through one of them. Saki's gonna have to clear this if we want to continue. Uh, yeah. How hard could it be? Amber did it, so I can do it too. Man, that was unnecessary. Are you ready to go through the door? It may be dangerous, so you must be careful. You have the audacity to show concern after all this? You fake bitch. We don't want to hear it. Resorting to profanity is a sign of being uneducated. I'll show you uneducated. Stop. Amber, weren't you the one who said I, had, I was an idiot for needless fighting? I don't need you two to start fighting out. Dumb, stupid idiots. Yeah, sorry. As for if I'm ready to go through yet. I can do it. I want to step through the door now. Good luck. Kick ass, Saki. Heck yeah, I'm gonna kick ass. Let's do this thing. How eloquently put. Okay, I'm gonna step through. Come on, puppet plaster. Show me what you got. I hope she'll be fine. Wait, take a look over here. We can speculate. Uh, we can spectate Saki through this glass. I'm gonna quote Risa because this ain't here. I have a bad feeling about this. The secrets behind this nightmare room have been locked away. Saki, where can we search deep within you? Okay. Hello? Zumi? What's up? Amanda? Uh, sorry, I'm in Grand Dream City, checking out all the new talent and stuff. It's late. It's raining and I'm trying not to get sick. Yes, I'm aware the SS Oceana will be here in a couple weeks. You and Jen always so paranoid with these things. The SS Oceana isn't even leaving for another two weeks. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting on a train in a few days. Don't worry. Okay, see you then. I guess I get no love around here. Hmm? Excuse me, I'm trying to cross the street. Hey, I said excuse me. I don't want to get rude, but if you don't move out of the... Hey, what do you think you're... Wowie, wowie, this place looks spooky. Eh? Where am I? Doesn't look familiar, but maybe because I haven't looked around yet. Seems easy enough. Let's get it, gamers. Okay. Saki has no Pokemon. But she does have po Money. Money. 
Why does she have... God damn. A mannequin? It's kind of weird. I'm going to call you Manuela. Is that okay? Nice. Guess I got to put Manuela there. Come on, Manuela. You're coming with me. Uh... Oh. Oops. Damn it. Okay. Whoa. Freya. What what's going on? What was all that? My head hurts so da so bad. Damn it. What's going on? Hey, I have to keep going. Oh. So now we're figuring out how this all happened in the first place. God damn it, Freya. Val, get Saki out of here, quickly. No, I won't leave you. Stop acting like a hero, accept this. Adam! Adam, no! Wait, who is Adam? I don't understand any of this. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to. Oh my god. Saki, run. Please run and get help. Val, I, I, I can't. I'm begging you, please. Enough. No! Oh. No. Valerie. Who is Valerie? Why does seeing them cause me so much pain? Screw this. I don't want to do this anymore. Let me out. Let me out. This is getting turbulent. Oh. Do you know why you're here? You're going to be part of an experiment. This experiment will dictate the actions we pursue going forward. Are you scared? What's going to happen to my friends? Poor thing. Can barely talk. That's no way to act. Checkers. I wouldn't worry about your friends. We won't hurt them. But they won't be your friends anymore. In fact... They're going to be brand new people. Perhaps you can say, we're freeing them from a wretched curse. Isn't that such a good thing we're, uh, we're doing? You should smile. Well, you'll come around voluntarily or not. W what's going to happen to me? You talk as if this hasn't already happened. You haven't noticed your new appearance? I'll chalk that up to my flawless and smooth procedure. That being said, it'll take a while for things to take effect with you. You're our bargaining card. Just behave like a normal student from now on. Team Zen, Robin and the others, forget them. No. Don't you want to forget them? Forget all of this? That scared look you have will be gone forever if you do. Come on. Let me show you. N no. Stop. Get away. Good night, Saki Blakery. Hmm. Saki. Saki, you have to get up. I can't do it, Amber. I can't. It's too painful. I understand. I know it's hard, but we're so close. I... I can't. This isn't the Saki I know. The Saki I know could pull through anything, no matter what shit life threw at her. She would somehow get away with doing dangerous things and survive in the end. It was really annoying. Don't you want to annoy the puppet master for putting us through this hell? Don't you want to survive so that you can get revenge on those two idiots that did this, bro? I am, I'm, I'm gonna fucking drag Freya and Kieran by their goddamn hair into the goddamn depths of hell. I will die and they will come with me. <laughs> I, they will see the end of the world. Uh, I, I will, I will finish them. I will finish them. They, they've caused too much pain. This is what I wanted. This is what should have been in place of that bullshit with Gene. This, yes. And if you can't do it yourself, then let me help. We can get through it together. So come on, take my hand. But why, why do this for me? Well, it's because we're friends, right? Something along those lines. 
Yeah, guess we are. Some friend you are, taking this long to help me and snap out of it. Unless I should mow you, <laughs> I'm not useless. I should mow you with smithereens. Next time, don't go around needing my help then. Die in here for all I care. <laughs> Come on, let's find a way out of here. Y yeah. Conveyor belt activated. The conveyor belt started moving. Let's check it out, Saki. Occur. I heard some chunks from this machine when it first started up. Probably because the conveyor belt moved something over. Duh, of course. That's what happened. Uh, of course that's what happened. The question is what? I'll take a closer look. Leave it to me. Gene, are you doing your part yet? Okay, here we go. They're gonna be here in a few hours. Blah, blah. I just need a few more adjustments. The security enforcer component just needs some time, that's all. But did you have to give the AI a personality that's that's asking for trouble? Personality is everything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Alright, alright. Huh? Saki, did you see that? Yeah, that was Sharon and Jean doing what were Sharon and Dean doing out here? It's painfully obvious, Saki. Aren't you supposed to be the genius? I mean, did you look at them and the ones who Okay, I feel like a complete fucking idiot now for the everything I've been saying up until this point and the last episode. Oh my god! Rejuvenation wins. The writer wins. They, I, I, they, they win. I can't. I, I, I can't. I, I should have just played it out. I should have played it out. I was getting frustrated because I didn't know what was going on. Although the fucking gun thing and all that was still a little stupid, but I can't believe it. It feels like they played me specifically. You're telling me. No wonder I don't like Jean and Shara. It's cause they're the two fucking assholes. Freya and Kirin. Oh my God. If you say so. Oh my God. What was that? It sounds like something crashed over there. We should check it out. I can't believe I got fucking played. I got played. Oh my god, bro. I was like, bro, who the fuck are these characters? They're irrelevant. And then here we go. Was the crash we heard this box? I checked back here before and this was not here. So gonna have to say this box was the source of the crash sound. There's something on top of the box. It looks important. Bro, I take back literally everything I said about the last episode. But I, I guess this reveal will be even better if you watched uh, yesterday's episode and then watch this one and I, I got fucking egg on my face. This letter is to rem uh, remind recipient Risa Burnett that they are uh, they own an astounding debt to the Hospital of Hope. A note from our doctors. Where is Risa's manager? Did they forget about the debt they owe me? Pay now or her condition will become public. Jesus, that's a big number. What the heck? Who the hell can pay such a bill? Forget about the... I mean, Saki easily could. What? Forget about the price for a sec. What is Risa here? Was Risa sick at some point or something? Maybe she's still sick. Remember those fits she got into? True, but I didn't think it was something so serious that it warranted this price. Frankly, nothing should cost his... Uh, this... It says his much, but this much in general. But that's another conversation. Kind of sounds like someone was being blackmailed with this, though. Pay up or I'll tell. Really weird. This is... What's... Oh, what's the password? I didn't do it. Damn it. The password's got to be around here somewhere. What about the medical bill thingy? Seventy four ninety six. So have the units we ordered been completed? We have them just as you want it. Now about that payment. Payment will directly be put into Reese's treatment. I'm sure that's fine. It'll do, yes. Just make sure it's on time. Last time it caused problems. 
Also, treat the sec units well. They will break if you're too rough with them. What good is a security drone if it falls apart if it's roughened up? Just don't abuse them. That's all I'm saying. They're ours now. What we do with them is up to us. That will be all. We'll be in contact again soon. What the f- Shara and Jean, they're a part of Team Zen? The Amber's hairstyle change? Or maybe I'm just- Maybe I'm not paying attention. Not only that, but Cassandra is tied in with all of this too. No surprises there. Politicians are just disguised villains anyway. They didn't want payment for anything other than Reese's treatment. I'm- I'm so confused. Wait, those things are always- were those things always there? These black boxes. I saw them in those visions. They were all placed in those pods next to one of us. Um, except for Amanda for some reason. This must be one of the conveyor belts pushed out. Just what are they for? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Evacuate immediately. What the? Intruder alert? What do we do? They said evacuate, right? So let's get out of here. Crescent. You two never fail to stand in my way. But this time I've won. And I'm going, I mean, yeah, I guess this is the logical result with that goddamn you two. And I'm going to see my beloved once again. I love you too, Crescent. Fucking gothic Lolita girlfriend? I fucks with that. Ow. Now Crescent has been down here? She stole three of the black boxes that came out of the conveyor belt. Just what the hell is she planning? The Puppet Master is trying to show us something here, but the events are so disjointed. We don't have a proper timeline. That's true. What event happened first? What was recent? We can ask these questions later. Let's look for a way out of here. Right. Crescent ran off south of here. Maybe we should follow. Something might have changed. Sounds like something open. Something behind us, maybe? Hmm? This is... Holy crap, dude. I wasn't... Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Like, man, I was talking so much shit in the last episode. But fuck, dude. Even in this one. Another one of these pods. This one seemed out of the way. And you know, like, I try and, like... I try... Now, to be fair, I'll say, I'll, I'll say this... I, I, I was wrong. I should have played through the whole thing to get the bigger picture on regarding who Gene and those characters is. But to be fair, it's very it's very odd to introduce new characters this late into the game. And then it didn't help that the way the Puppet Master's like persona is used in this game, it almost takes away from the bigger picture. It blurs the lines a little too much, if that makes sense, right? Like... It's one thing to have, like this is an answer arc for all thing uh, for all th intents and purposes. It's supposed to explain what's going on, but if you're explaining something with a question, you're not really giving an answer to the question that you pose. You're just giving multiple questions. Now it gave the answer right here, but to be fair, I still think the Ailita ver uh, the Ailita path is not very good. I th it doesn't help that realistically speaking. The Sharabella, uh, Sharabella person and the Jean person being Kieran and Freya, that's an insane reveal. I could have got that just from this path, though. I could have got all that from this path. Like, the, even the Deegan reveal could have gotten it here. So, I honestly don't see the point in the Aelita path. I don't think the Aelita path needed to exist. I still think it's bad, but I think... I, I, I take back what I said regarding the character of Jean. I will give him credit because of who he is. He is an established character. We just had to, you know, get to that point. But that whole path doesn't really offer you anything. Having got all of this information from this one. So I still stand by that. I think they could have pruned that whole I lead a half out. It didn't really add anything. We got to open it, right? Yeah, probably. Like the Hue and Huey and Lavender part, that whole thing. Like, I'm sorry. Those two characters just are like C tier characters. So. Who cares, right? Like, that doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. All right. Ready. On three. One, two, three. Crescent. Isn't this that girl from before? Crescent. 
but we saw her escape from this place. Why is she down here too? There are black boxes in the other one. I'm confused. Oh, shh. They are the black boxes. So their real selves are still trapped. Oh. Looks like we finally made it out of there. But that, what was that at the end? Why was Crescent in that pod? What an incredible, rash, and foolish thing to do, Amber Von Brandt. To jump into a nightmare on like that? Who knows what could have happened? Hey, her friend was in trouble and I did what I had to do. That being said, the images shown in that room were disturbing. Frankly, I'm having a hard time piecing together what was shown. I think I've got a decent idea. What's most interesting is why there were two of each person in those pods. It has to do with those black boxes. All that, uh, all that stuff that happened to me. It did happen to me, right? I'm pretty sure it did. That's what I thought. I can't remember anything because those two did something to me. Say it how it is. Shara and Jean tamper with you somehow. Don't worry. Just call them what their real names are. Kieran and Shara. Uh, Kieran and Freya. Don't worry. My sister. We will get down. Uh, we will get to the bottom of this. And I will be sure to bring that uh, those wretched scum that abused the Blakery so heinously to justice. Truly an icon of chivalry you are, Thomas. Guess we should oh I guess we should open this thing up then. Well, what do we got? Nothing but a key. Probably for the elevator just outside. Really? That's all? That's all. Then we're done here. This part of the game is over. Let's make our way onto that lift. And we're gonna do that next time. I I can't believe it, like. Oh man, this was a really good episode. Like, the last episode. I feel I almost feel so bad. But coming back to it in this one, everything is right where it needs to be, right? I still think I like the Pearl route better, but just because, I mean, to be fair, I think the other two routes are written really well. If I had to compare the Robin half of this route to the other two, I would say this route, this is this is really good. I don't like the Aelita half. I already explained why. I think the Aelita half has nothing to offer, like literally nothing because all everything literally all of the same information was available in this version so why are there two paths and one of them doesn't tell you anything new like even down to the d De if the deegan thing was just in that side i'd be like okay fine but i i mean we know that i mean the only other thing i guess is that what the only thing I could take, uh, I can infer, and I, and, I, and I use infer, is that Freya did something to Rune, right? Because Rune, uh, Freya is Shara, and Shara was chasing the girl on the uh, Rapid Ash, which was Rune. That's the only other thing I can infer, but like that's not saying anything. And then the whole there's a moon, a base on the moon. Maybe that might be relevant, but that arc didn't really tell me anything, so. Now I just know that there's a base on the moon and that black shards come from there. Like, still though, this this half though, this half was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, uh, I <laughs> I almost wish, if, if, I almost like, I think I really like the last episode now only because this one like comes back around and like beats my ass for that. <laughs> I got completely well played here. Um, but if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment down, subscribe, uh, comment down below, subscribe. You know, we're trying to reach uh, 500. Like I said, if we get to seven, we'll do 600. If we get to 600 by the end of the year, I will play a Kaizo game. And I'm not looking forward to doing that. But that's if we get to 600. I might lower it. It depends on it. It could be maybe 550, 600 around there. Anywhere in that range, I will play the Kaizo game. Um, so, you know, share the video around to your friends that are interested in like Pokemon content or, you know, just put my name out there. I appreciate it. I appreciate those who come back and comment every video. It's, I love talking to you guys. It's a lot of fun to record. Like I said, Rejuvenation's getting close to the climax of this version. 
um we're in the very last part of the the routes of all of them this is the final one um oh and the final half of that so we're really getting to the end here but like i said if you're enjoying the playthrough please leave a like comment down below subscribe for more and have a good one take care